Hello, I'm Larry Buckham, Superintendent of Burke County Public Schools, and this is a message for our graduating class of 2020. It's not supposed to be like this. Your senior year, your last hoorah before you venture into adulthood. You're supposed to make memories dancing at your prom, pulling off an epic senior prank, and returning to your old elementary school to walk the halls in your cap and gown all leading up to the most important day in your life thus far, high school graduation day. It's not supposed to be like this. You are supposed to endure long hours of graduation practice and feel the butterflies the moments before you hear your name and walk across that stage. Together with your fellow class of 2020, packed in the gym or on the football field, you're supposed to experience the tassel move from right to left, the cap toss, the barrage of balloons, flowers, hugs, and kisses. It's all been snatched away. It's not supposed to be like this. And for that, I am sorry. You barely even had time to become afflicted with senioritis before this world pandemic known as COVID-19 altered life as it was supposed to be for us all. It's not supposed to be like this. For that, I sympathize with you. But you are strong. You are resilient. Your life has been bookended by unprecedented times. You came into this world in the wake of 9-11. And now, here you are, about to be released into a world that is in quarantine. I think back to August 26, 2019 the first day of school for your senior year. You had made it to the top. This is the year you had worked so hard for during your school career. None of us knew then that it would end this way. None of us could have predicted in our wildest imaginations that when you left school on Friday, March 13th, that that was it. Your senior year was over. It's not supposed to be this way. I hope you have taken some time to process that. I know I have gone through the stages of grief through this whole ordeal, and it's okay. We need to go through the process to start to heal, find our new normals, and move on. As you are out of class and finishing your high school career learning remotely, please allow me to add a few more lessons to your packet of supplemental material before you are officially released to the world. First, let go of how things are supposed to be. It's great to set goals and have aspirations for yourself and have dreams to follow, but sometimes life happens and circumstances are out of our control, like pandemics, they get in the way. To quote blogger and New York Times best-selling author, Mandy Hale, happiness is letting go of what you think your life is supposed to look like and celebrating it for everything that it is. While we plan to celebrate you in a less than a traditional way with a walkthrough graduation ceremony, you have given us a lot to celebrate. Two, to find true peace with how this pandemic has altered our lives and plans, we will have to let go of what was supposed to be and take pride in who we have become or how it has shaped us and to who we are on the other side of it. Craig D. Lonsbrow said, Plan B might have been Plan A all along. The lesson here is to be open to change. Be flexible in new situations. Roll with it. Albert Einstein said, The measure of intelligence is the ability to change. The earlier you can wrap your mind around the fact that nothing stays the same, the world is constantly changing, and the quicker you can adapt to changes, the easier your ride through adulthood will be. Number three, because things change, don't take moments and people for granted. There's nothing like a stay-at-home order from the governor to remind us of this. And this time where we are stuck at home with loved ones, and can't gather with other family members and friends in large groups, I encourage you to be present and be in the moment. Put your phone down and live an experience without snapping it. Call your grandma, 
Send a card. Be nice to your housemates. And number four, finally, keep a journal. You are living through a historic event. Your grandchildren will study this in class one day. What better gift to lead future generations than your first-hand account of life in 2020 when you were a senior in high school? No, it's not supposed to be this way. And yes, the future is uncertain. But don't give up on your dreams. Look at what you have already accomplished. Reach down and tap into your inner strength that has got you to this point. Rely on your support system. And know that the support system includes all of us here at Burke County Public Schools. We are proud of you. Now more than ever before, we are in this together and we are stronger together. Go and do great things. You've got this. Congratulations, class of 2020. To the class of 2020. Wow, can you believe it? The time is finally here. Just think, on Thursday, May 28th, you are going to cross that stage. And as I think about 1920 school year, I think about all the memories we have made. Just think, we have had some fun times. Kissing a pig, becoming a human ice cream sundae. All of those things would not have been possible without all of you. So as you are getting excited and making plans with your families to be here next Thursday, I just want to go ahead and say I am so proud of you and I can't wait to see you next week. Tick tock, tick tock. Although most of us have been on tick tock these past couple weeks, the clock did click class of 2020 seniors just a little too fast for us this year. We can't sit around and think about what could have been going on these past weeks of our senior year, we have to look back and remember elementary field days, awards days, middle school dances, science fairs, speeches, high school basketball games, and football on Friday nights, and all of our sports events. Our proms, our homecoming dances, our favorite classes, our favorite teachers. This is our senior class. We may have missed out on some things, but class of 2020 seniors, we have made history. I pray we all stay safe and healthy. East Burke High School, class of 2020, we are all in. One team, one vision, one community. Go Wild Bunch. Hello, class of 2020. If you've noticed, this whole thing means we've done it. It's slightly surreal, isn't it? We're graduating against many and all odds. And this is something to be immensely proud of. Today, I'd like to share a quote from Michael Josephson. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. Class of 2020, congratulations. Hello, Class of 2020. There's no way that we could have scripted this year. The way I see it, each class as they graduate tries their best to make their mark on Eastburg history. There is no way any class can outdo ours. We have single-handedly had the longest skip day ever. In my campaign speech, I think I discussed toilet paper. Who knew that toilet paper would have such a role? Get it? In our senior year, so on a positive note, we will go down in history. Teachers, parents, and younger students, we will, will talk about this school year for years to come. I would not have wanted to do my senior year with anyone else but y'all. Thank you for a fabulous year, and I cannot wait to see you all at our first class reunion.